What's going on everybody? It's the Beastly Gamer and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Playing some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for PS4. Really enjoying this game. I think it's awesome. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm lo da, 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 da. I'm loving it. This game is really, really fun. Uh, and I haven't played a game that really it's, has made me this excited to get into it. So this is what I'll be playing for a while until you guys get tired of it, I guess, because I'm just loving this game. But unfortunately for me, and probably for most of you guys out there, I'm playing it on the PlayStation 4. And it seems that the PS4 version is actually the inferior version of this game according to Digital Foundry. Digital Foundry has come out in a comment on uh, GameSpot.com stating that the Xbox One's single player campaign actually runs at a smoother frame rate than the PlayStation 4 version. Now they cite uh, the PS4's native 1920x1080p resolution. They're saying that the PS4 has a higher resolution, it's running at a native 1080p, and the Xbox One is running at a slightly less, or, or not as high resolution, which is allowing the Xbox One's version to run in a consistent 60 frames per second through the single player campaign. Now, according to Digital Foundry, the multiplayer of both games is running at a smooth 60 FPS, but the, uh, the single player is where we're going to have problems, we're going to get hiccups because of the native 1080p on the PS4. What do I got to say about this? I think that's actually, if it's true, which it probably is, if this information is coming from Digital Foundry, it's a good thing. I think it's a great thing. Uh, Microsoft needs to take advantage of Sony's downfall, or Sony's dropping the ball, so to speak. Sony has dropped the ball within the last three weeks twice, at least twice. And it has everything to do with Sony's PlayStation Network and the network infrastructure. Sony is, they do a lot of good things. They do a lot of things right. They got PlayStation Plus, which is awesome. They have a system which has more sound hardware specs. They have a much higher install base. There's 12.2 or 12.3 million PS4s already sold. That's over double the Xbox Ones. But the things that Sony does wrong, Microsoft needs to take advantage of those, of those opportunities. When Sony releases Drive Club, and Drive Club comes out and it's broken network and the PlayStation Plus version of the game is put on hold indefinitely someone needs to take advantage of that. Microsoft needs to see that opportunity and do something to stimulate the, the, the masses, stimulate the, the consumer and basically that's what they're doing. Uh, when things like the Evolve Alpha come out and you got the PlayStation 4 guys like myself who got an alpha code and download this alpha 12 gigs and can't even get into a game lobby even when they say it's fixed then you gotta look at the PlayStation Network. PlayStation Network sucks ass. There's 8 million people subscribed to the PlayStation Plus at this point. There's a lot of money coming in. It's a lot more than what's going on with the PS3 and even with all this this income, with all this revenue Sony still has a terrible network. They need to adopt the Microsoft model of the Xbox Live because PlayStation Network obviously has too many issues. If a PlayStation gamer has to have pro or, or recognize that we're going to have problems consistently with our network, we're going to start looking for other ways to game because nowadays gaming involves heavily online gameplay. And uh, even when I was pl trying to play the alpha beta, alpha, the alpha, I'm sorry, of Evolve, I was really upset at the fact that I couldn't play it and I was pining for an Xbox One at that point. I wanted to be able to play the game. And I couldn't do it because I'm on PS4 and PS4 has faulty network. Drive Club, another game. I was upset about it. Wasn't able to play it. PlayStation has a faulty network. Microsoft is doing a lot of smart things. And uh, the fact that they actually toned down the resolution and so they could have a smooth 60 at all times during the, si the single campaign, I think a lot of gamers are going to hear that. A lot of people who are big Call of Duty fans, which are, there are millions of those, are going to say, hey, well, it runs pretty much the same in the multiplayer, but the single player runs better than the Xbox One. The Xbox One is $50 less than the PS4. Let me go ahead and cop that one. Smart move by Phil, Phil Spencer. Smart move by the Microsoft team. Also, Microsoft has got these bundles, these $350 bundles I just mentioned. That is a big deal. It's holiday season. They're taking advantage of Sony's shortcomings. And I, I love that. I think it's really smart. I think it's a great tactic. Uh, they need every sale they can get. I mean, right now they're getting buried in Sony sales. And Sony's having a lot of missteps. 
They're screwing up a lot of, in a lot of different ways. They're screwing up in a lot of different areas that they need to be tightening up on. So kudos to Microsoft. Uh, you know, Phil Spencer, I listened to some of his uh, interviews. I really like that guy. I think that he's he's actually moving the, the Xbox brand into the direction they need to go. And as long as they're able to consistently make moves and capitalize on Sony's fuck-ups, they should be okay. $350 Xbox One bundles? Come on. PS4s are 400 bucks. Call of Duty is running better on the Xbox One. This is the first game ever that's running better on the Xbox One. They got Sunset Overdrive. They got a lot of reasons for people to come over to the, the Xbox side of the camp and try that out. So I think it's actually pretty good news to keep this camaraderie going between Sony and Microsoft. It's going to fuel their desire to work harder and make better games. Fix their infrastructure, Sony. Fix your stuff. I hope you guys found this, inf this information enjoyable or informative. And if you did, support my channel by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the BC Gamer channel, Please subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this Call of Duty Advanced Warfare footage on the underpowered PlayStation 4. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. That's how it's done. RTB for debrief. <laughs>